Hi guys, it's France. Welcome to this 127th journal on Monday. I'm working in my handmade Coptic binded heavy watercolor paper art journal and as I have some stitching from the previous page, I want to seal it because I don't want any of my color go through um, those holes. So I'm filling the holes with 3D gel. And once that is dry, I'm applying a very generous layer of light paste. It's a very short video today, it's only 12 minutes. It took me 45 minutes to get it done um, because I knew what I had to say, I knew how I wanted to say it and then things go really fast. I'm using one of my uh, Stampedic stamps. This one is the upholstered and I'm applying embossing ink just to make sure that there isn't too much of the still wet light paste sticking to the stamp so that I can make prints into the light paste. And in between each stamping I'm very lightly cleaning up my stamp. Now I designed this stamp in this way that you can connect and uh, make one big surface as if it was one big stamp. Once it's dry I'm applying a layer of heavy gesso And now that this is dry, I can add some color. The first color I'm going for is a chalk paint because I want to keep it really, really soft and I'm blending it using a wet baby wipe so that I only have color really in the, uh, in the texture. I do want to cut down the wide that I have on the edges, so I'm going in again with a chalk paint, but this time it's a pale greenish color that I'm applying really, really softly and again taking whatever's too much on the page away using a, a wet baby wipe. I want to enhance the texture even more, so I'm going with a very earthy matte acrylic paint and just doing the same thing as I did with the chalk, but as it is not a chalk this time, it's really an acrylic paint, I will have more color on the paper than I had with the chalk. And again, going in with a baby wipe.
Of course I need some rust going on, so I'm going to mix up some of Fenivar's mica with this uh, soft gel to create a kind of paint. Now this is the rust version, so what else do you need to add rust to a page than rust mica? <laughs> Now that I have this other very soft accent, I want to add a little bit more color, not too much, just a hint. So I'm going in with watercolor, mixing up the color that I want, using some water as well, and then applying some shading. This time I'm not using a baby wipe, I'm just using a piece of um, tissue paper to wipe away the excess. I want to accentuate the texture even more, so I'm doing the same thing as I did with the acrylic paint, but this time I'm doing it with the watercolor, so that it only picks up in the creases of the texture. And then to add even more hints of colors, I'm adding real green splatters on top of everything. I want to add some more stamping, so this time I'm using my splattered mug stamp and VersaFine ink. The only reason I'm switching inks is because I just want that particular color in a permanent ink. And I'm using my stamp positioner to place my barcode stamp exactly where I want to have it, which is at the bottom of the page. Then again, using my stamp positioner, and uh, this time stays on ink, I'm going to add wording into this barcode. I designed this barcode text stamp in that way that all the wordings fit into the barcode. Now, as I'm working really at the bottom of my page, it wasn't easy to place uh, my stamp positioner in a correct way. And it did move very slightly, which is okay. It makes it look like the stamp was made 
on purpose this way. And I did it on purpose this way, anyway. I really want the wording to pop, so I'm adding um, a line of glimmer glaze, which will really make the text stand out. It doesn't look like much, but it's that kind of little details that will make um, the thing look like you want it to look. And then adding some more stamping. As I did wipe some of the splatters away after applying them, I'm applying some more because I really want to have that little pop of green on the top of my page. That's it for today. I hope you liked today's video. If so, please don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Welcome to the Club of the Butterflies and see you back next time. Ta-da!